In this session, we are going to discuss deletion on an array. That means deleting one data from a particular given location from an array. Obviously, on an array, we can perform deletion if and only if array is containing data. Otherwise, what will happen? If the array is totally vacant, if the array does not contain any data, but if I am supposed to run the delete operation on that very particular array, then the condition thus obtained will be known as underflow. Underflow means deletion operation, but there is no data to delete. So, that is that situation is known as underflow. Okay, now, see, so here is my uh, array, sample array given, which is having 12 locations. So, subscript is ranging from 0 to 11. So, max lock is equal to 12 and it is having n valid data. So, n valid data means here value of n is equal to 8. So, we are having 8 valid data. So, n is equal to 8. From this fourth location, first, second, third, fourth location, I want to perform a deletion operation. So, after deletion this 17 which will come to item. So, before deletion we do not have the idea what is coming from that location from where data is going to get deleted. So, item is equal to question mark lock is equal to 4 and item is equal to question mark. So, in this way the variables have got initialized. So, here at first in case of deletion operation I shall have to check whether value of n is equal to 0 or not. If value of n is equal to 0 that indicates there is no data in the array. So, how the deletion operation can take place. So, the situation thus produced will be known as underflow. Okay. Now, after performing the deletion operation, that means fetching this particular data onto item, I must do the compaction because that is a blank space in between 7 and 22. So, compaction should take place. So, this particular data, so that is 22, 3, 6, 2 should get shifted towards the left. So, here 22 will come, here 3 will come, here 6 will come, here 2, uh, two will come and here the value of n will be decreased by 1. So, it will become 7. So, that is the main operation in case of added deletion. Okay. That means, in that case, at the location number 3 to 6, the data which will be coming from the location number 4 to 7. So, here that will be coming from the location number 4 to 7. So, this is my so, this is my target locations and this is my source location. So, 3 to 6 is my tar target location, 3 to 6 where the data will be coming from 4, then 5, then 6, then 7. So, 4 to 7 is my source location. Okay. So, what is 3? Look at here and tell me. What is 3? Three? 3 means, 3 means lock minus 1. What is 6? Six? 6 means n minus 2. What is 4? Four? 4 means lock. And what is 7? Seven? 7 means n minus 1. So, I have expressed this 3, 6, 4, 7 into the respective variables. With respect to the variables, I have put. So, I have got my uh, respective forms uh, with the help of the variable names. Okay. So, there is a target location and this is a source location from where data will be coming. Okay. Now, see if i is the if i is the target range then so 3 to 6 means I can go on incrementing. So, target location so at the third place fourth place data will be coming. So, at the ith place i plus 1 data will be coming. If i is a source range, that means, if i is a source range, that means, it will be ranging from log to n minus 1, 4 to 7. So, I can go on increasing for, from 4 to 7. Okay. So, see, i is the, i is the source, fourth location's content is going to third location. So, ith location's content will be going to i minus 1th location. So, in this way considering either i is equal to target range or considering i as the source range 
I can write any one of the four bodies, four constructs. Okay, let me write the algorithm now. So now in this way, algorithm add a delete. I'm passing a as input argument, max lock, n item and lock. Out of these arguments, item is the output argument. So in C programming, item will be by call by reference. In case of n, the value of n is going to get changed within the algorithm because after deletion, the number of data should be decreased by one. So here in this n, in case of C programming implementation, n should be done by call by reference. So a max lock n item and lock. So these are the input arguments out of them item is the output argument and all of them are input arguments and this n will be coming in the call by reference and item uh, n will be coming in the call by reference and this particular item will be coming in the call by reference. Okay, now see if n is equal to 0 print overflow and exit item is equal to a lock. So I'm just keeping keeping that uh, replica of that uh, data at location number locked onto item. If i is equal to lock minus one, i less than equal to n minus two, i plus plus. So I've written the same, which I discussed earlier. I could have written the same also in uh, in place of writing these two lines. I could have written these two lines also. So now after deletion, after shifting, after compaction, the value of n should be decreased by one and exit will indicate successful termination of the algorithm. So in this way, the array delete operation and the respective algorithm can be written. So this is my tracing from where I'm getting my logic and implementing accordingly. I think you are getting the idea how the things are to be mapped, how the logics are to be uh, created and then how to implement this one using one algorithm. Thanks for watching this video.